Carol here, a warm welcome to my craft room once again. And we're moving on to a 5x7 card and envelope. I got these at, um, let me see, either Hobby Lobby, I'm not too sure. They're Park Lane. And what's really nice about these, it's cut out in the centers for shakers already. It has an extra flap that you can add on the inside or add as a flap. And then you have the additional envelope, which is really nice. And I decided to do this in craft. Now, I'm using the Build-A-Tree. And I'm telling you, my friends, this was a struggle for me because it was a tree. And I'm trying to think. I just wanted to stick with the actual stamp set and only use what was in there. And for some reason, this was three days I was uh, working on this, trying to figure out what I was going to do with it. Now, if you looked at the other design team members and they uh, did beautiful cards, like on white cardstock, you know, this, that's my baby powder, my friends. I'm putting some of that on and then after I sprinkle it on, I put it on my hands. <laughs> yeah. Just so that it is, uh, it's nice. For you and it smells good. It stinkies up your room real life, lovely. So here we go. I'm using clear embossing powder which is nice because it's going to give you that tone on tone just like the cardstock and then I move right over to the envelope. So if you're doing an, um, doing an envelope and uh, you want to do it identical just grab one right after the other because then you have the stamps already on your, in my case, the Fiskar stamp press. And I was just moving along. I didn't have any problems up until there. I, I knew I wanted to have the tree on the inside with the owl, the little bird, and all the leaves and accessories. Oh yes, don't forget the limbs. Yes, we have to have the limbs. And uh, love this stamp set. It wasn't the stamp set that was uh, in my way. It was my mojo. Couldn't connect. If you ever had those days, you just don't connect. And could I have put it on an A2 size card? I could have on a white card. And did the outside and the inside. Beautiful, it's beautiful set. But uh, as you know, it's kind of not the way I roll. And I like to create a little bit out of the box. And do a little bit extra. That's all it is. It's not any more talent than anybody else has. It's just a little bit extra. You know, when you go to get something at a restaurant and they give you that little bit extra and you're so thankful because you just needed about 16 more gulps of food and you would be satisfied. Well, that's how I was here. Well, that's how I am. <laughs> on all of my cards, right? So, here we go. I'm working on the envelope. The envelope is really nice because there's no coloring involved. I wanted it tone on tone, easy peasy. You get to put the name over to the right, the address, whatever you want. There's enough room, yet it matches the card that's going to go inside. And these are 5x7. You get them in the packs in white, and you get them in craft, as far as I know. Now, the envelopes, which is really unbelievable, they're really thick. So it worked out very well for me for this design team project. And, oh yeah, where <laughs> am I going to substitute my tuna fish on toast sandwich to put my markers? Are you kidding? I had to have my lunch. Yeah, let's get the card right into the tuna. And, you know, it always works out well for me. Carol, really, you know, I'm there. Take a bite and then color. Take a bite and then color. <laughs> Our night. Yeah, but hey, that's what I do. So what I'd like on this card is I reversed it from a birch tree. You know I'm a birch tree fanatic. And in a birch tree, they don't go horizontal. They go vertical, you know, these lines, so to speak. And then you can put some, well, well I've done enough cards and projects on birch trees. This way, on a real tree, if you go out and look at a tree, I have lots of them on the farm here, uh, the bark 
is all over the place. It, do, it doesn't, it either goes horizontal or vertical. So I decided that this is the way I was going to color it. I was going to deepen different sections and leave different sections to give it a little bit more realism. And if the trees don't look like this, it's a carol tree. What can I say? I just like it. And it's Prisma pencils with Gamsol, mixed it all in there and called it a tree with two limbs and cute bird's nest, an owl, I love owls, and um, Tweety Bird there looking up, the little Tweety Bird, he's so cute. He just made me smile the whole time I was doing this. And I decided to create this card like uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor, put on all my diamonds. <laughs> Who does that? I do. <laughs> yeah, what other opportunity am I going to get? You only see my hands. So, um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Somebody's looking at it going, why does she have all those diamonds on? Because I can. There you go. It's the only reason I need it. That's the only excuse I need. You know, just sit there at the island and put all my bling bling on and have some fun making a card and an envelope for you. I tried to keep this under an hour, but I do have um, all sides created. So you're getting an envelope in four sides. So it's almost like four cards in an envelope. That's the way I look at it. It's kind of how I um, don't feel so bad for having a super long tutorial. But here we go. Now, I'm looking at it and looking at it. If you knew how long I sat and looked at it, before I decided what I wanted to create with it, you wouldn't believe it. But this is what I did. I said, okay, I've already stamped it on the inside. I have a hole in the front of the cardstock. So obviously it's either gotta be a shaker or a shaker. What am I gonna do with it, right? So I went with the um, brown stays on yeah, and I put it on the side here of the shaker, but uh, I don't think I used it. <laughs> now, now that I'm looking at it, let me look at my card. I didn't even use it. No. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't know why I have this in the edit, but I already do, so why not? Okay, let's say if you wanted to, you could do the exact image on the outside with stays on. So I made another one. Yes. It's crazy, isn't it? When you have to edit things down from so many hours, you don't know what you leave in <laughs> until you're sitting there to do the voiceover. And then you say, really? You left that in there? But let's just run with it. Now, we all know I love my cards super duper thick. This is not the reason for putting this half inch tape on, which you now you know the outside of these card bases are half an inch. And so I put the Suquang tape on, and then I'm going to add, yeah, I probably got tuna fish mayonnaise or something. I don't know what happened there, but it doesn't matter because I always add extra to my cards. I, do, I don't like just a card. I have to make it thick and heavy. So the beauty of buying packages like this is you get to cut up another card, and it's already sized for you. You don't have to resize anything. It, you already have another one to make your card thick if that's the way you like it or you spill, spill tuna or Coca-Cola, whatever it is on your card, just cover it up. That's what I did. Now, I want one on the inside. I want one on the outside. I'm just cleaning it up on the edges here. And we'll work with, uh, let's see, I guess the inside, no, I left that. Yes, I did. As you can see, I left that, so I'm going to stop talking about that and move on. I took out the LDRS Creative uh, Make a Magic die set card. You know, the one where you flip it up? I thought it'd be so cute to color in the scene and have it, you know, black and white, and then when you pull the tab up, it's all colored. Now, this is the first time I am using my Empress, okay? It's the very first time. Keep that in mind. And I sat and stared at whether I should put my dies facing down and cut into my, my magnet or have them 
face up. And I watched tutorials, tutorials. Then my friend Gail from Georgia, she said, Carol, cut it. Anna now cuts into the um, magnet plate. And then you just replace, you replace it. And hers has been going, she said, for 10 months to a year. And she hasn't replaced the magnet yet. So I thought, that's great. I just ordered one large magnet plate, one small one. I'm going to put them aside, and I'm going with my dies facing down. Except for that one on the lower right-hand corner. Lo and behold, I did not see that it was facing up. So, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it's the vanity plate thing that I wanted it all nice and clean, but it was facing up, and I ruined well, I have that image on the top of my plate, but that's the only image. So I'm going to put that plate on the bottom. I'm not even going to look at it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm look, using my vacuum. Woohoo! yeah. This thing, when I say it would suck the rings off your fingers, I am telling you, it will. And I don't know when I have to plug it into my computer because it's computerized. No batteries. Just throwing that in there because you saw my haul if you follow me, and I'm loving it. I'm thinking I might just kick it around the floor and see, see if it picks up <laughs> all the goobers that fell <laughs> off the island. Yeah, see what happens there. I don't know. They have one of those things that just travel around your house, don't they, on the hardwood floors? Yeah, maybe I'll get about 10 of them and kick them around the floors. I don't know. We'll see what kind of mood I'm in. So here we go. I'm just putting everything back. This is the LDRS Creative Set. I love it because I get to go back. I don't know if this is available. I didn't check it out, but it makes a quick pull slide, um, you know, black and white to color card. I can't turn it over because then I'll wreck, you know, some of the stuff might fall off and I just keep them in little, these, uh, I don't know what you call them, that have a snap on them. And that's what I put my large dies in. Keeps them nice and clean and I know where they are. So here we go. So you need to make an image. Here's my image that I'm going to have black and white. I need to color the one on the craft paper and now I put my acetate over top. So now I have to make the same uh, images on this like I did with the lower. And I just kept everything on the Fiskars plate in the exact same position. And you can see nothing's touching the limb. I never thought of that, really. And uh, there's my Stays On Stamp Cleaner, and there's my Extreme Clean LDRS Creative Cleaner for everything. That, that It's amazing, that Extreme Clean. So here we go. I'm cleaning it up. Now I, I have to fill it in because I can't have floating leaves and floating owl. I could have a floating owl. I threw an apple up there on the limb of the tree. He's in an apple tree. So here we go. I've got it uh, all taped down with my new purple tape. This is my new thin purple tape. But I have to add all the limbs, right? All the extras that I added. So if I put it over top of the image I just stamped on the bottom, I hope this is making sense. I'm totally confusing myself. But uh, if you do this, you can add all the little extra pieces with the stays on ink on top of your acetate. And it's an easy peasy process, except for if I'm doing it, you know, I make everything more complicated than it has to be. But it is an easy peasy project. When I look at the videos, you know, of people using the products, I think, wow, how can you do that like in 12 seconds? I've never done, it takes me more than 12 seconds to get up in my chair before I start crafting. I mean, I don't know, I'm as slow as molasses going uphill. But here we go, let's just keep going. And always clean off your lids, my friends. If you have stamp cleaners like this, clean it off with your baby wipe. You do not want to put down, you know, uh, dirty, yeah, liquid. We all know that. I just have to remember to always clean it. Because I don't always do what I say. But I try to with these. So I have that down. Isn't that purple tape really gorgeous? It's nice to stare at something pretty when you're creating. So now you've cut this pull tab. It goes right in there, right away. So you have the outer, the pull tab. And I'm looking at it and I'm going, how come this doesn't look like what Angie, when she did her video, doesn't look the same. You know why? You need to have a hole in the front so you can see your image. 
No kidding. Yeah, if you don't have the hole in it, you can't see the slider go up and down and change it from black and white to color. You just it's just doing its thing without you seeing it, you know? So first thing you do is you push up that tab as far as it goes. Then you put your image, you know, the, the one you're going to color on the craft. You're going to slide that up, tuck it under that, uh, that pull tab. And then you're going to, I'm not doing it right now. You have to tape it all down or glue it. But I just want to see the process. And then there's this U-shaped piece that you die cut and it's going to glue down right over top and that's what you're going to put your acetate over top of. I know it doesn't come together right away but you'll see it in a minute. So you have that part to that part. You cut a hole. I, I decided to grab my Empress new smaller um, plates and use that so that I didn't wreck it because I yeah down I'm saying no down yeah, there I did it, nice and smooth. It's going into the magnet plate. And I like this this idea of going into the magnet plate. I really do, because Gail, hers is over 10 months old, and it doesn't look bad at all. And uh, she hasn't gone into a new one, and it keeps your plates beauteous. Look at that. I don't know, there's something about clean plates that just makes you feel clean, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm in that kind of a mood. I was so glad to get this card completed. I, I just didn't know whether it was ever going to come to fruition, but it did. And uh, there, I made a hole with the one die that comes with this set. It comes with a billion and one pieces parts. It's fantastic. Okay, what do I do with that? Isn't it funny when you see things going in fast motion? In slow motion, I probably went back and forth a billion times. So it's the Prismacolor, so I wanted to grab things that look really fluorescent because when I pull that pull tab up, uh, I want to see all this wow factor of color. I don't want it to be dull. I want it to be bright and cheery. Then I grab my blush brush from the dollar store when nothing's a dollar, and I'm going to color in everything as bright as my Prismacolors would allow. I put it in fast forward so that you didn't have to watch all of it. I used my signal pen right there on the apple and it just adds a little something, you know, to sweet spots if you have a signal white pen or any white pen that you have. It doesn't have to be the signal. And then because I stamped this over top of the image, I am going to have to add, you know, on top of the limb. I'll make one look like it's behind. I'll make one look like it's in front just by adding darker colors to cover up the tree limb and uh, it's cutesy wootsy you've got the little owl looking at the nest you've got an apple I mean really cute I just really did love this and I'm just showing you I have these little attachments for all of my coloring mediums this one is the Prisma and if the Prisma pencil gets too low and you don't want your hand way down on the pencil just add an extension. Uh, I bought a lot of these uh, extensions and I put them inside the containers because you, you know I like to keep my pencils in all pretty glass jars. And so I just put a couple in each one so if one of the pencils is low, I don't have to buy a new pencil. Of course not. I will use that pencil till I can't use it anymore. There I'm just sharpening it quick. <laughs> I was too lazy to go get the automatic pencil sharpener out. I already had it out once. Then I put it away, thinking, forgetting, and then I just thought, oh, just grab your, you know, even a nail file. You don't have to have that specific file. Just grab an old nail file and sharpen your pencil. Works wonderfully. So here I'm going to make sure. I've got to cut this specifically to that size. So you know where I have my guts from taking out the die cut? I'm just going to lay it over top. Uh, I may even use that one that's there. Let's just see. So this goes underneath. It's all colored. You're going to glue that underneath. Let's get some glue or tape or both. Oh, I left this in the edit. I'm telling you, this tutorial had so many errors that I could have made it five hours long for you. It would have been called blooper card making. Look at this mess. Now, I just, yeah, just pull it all out, waste it all. Oh, I was almost crying. I don't like to waste anything. And then 
I did the card face up. <laughs> it couldn't get any better, could it? I did it face up. Yeah, no. I had it upside down, too. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. If it's if it's a dyslexic thing, if you have it upside down, I don't know. But I had all this glue, and I thought, okay, just rub it. Does it come off? Whoa, it does. This is crazy. I don't have to... Um, use my gooby gone and, and make it all a mess because I was not recoloring this. I would have come up with plan C, D, E, F, whatever I had to do. But no, it seemed like the Prisma pencils, I don't know, the wax on those and then it must have a little bit of wax on the card. I have no idea. But those goobers came off like nothing. I wasn't sucking that up my machine, I'll tell you that. No, my little vacuum. No way. I'm pretty fussy when I suck into my vacuum there. So anyway, I thought, oh, can I fix that? No, I couldn't. I put it away. That's going to be a day's project for me to get that back working right. That's okay. You know, what else do I have to do in a day besides fix that? That was my fault. That was totally my fault. This is not Zyron's fault. This is my fault. That's a Carol faulty. And I'm trying to do it. I've taken tweezers. I've taken everything, trying to figured out, but you can't if you're in a hurry, you know? It'd take me probably two minutes if I sit down. So I grabbed the Zyron, this one, the half inch runner. It has the little dots all over it. And I'm going to, yeah, and sticky. Good night, my fingers. It was sticking all over the place. There we go, put that down. With the Zyron, you can know that it's gonna stay. So we have that little thing, up, down, up, down. Now we have to put the exact size, and it has to fit over top with the image, identical, after we put this thing on, this U thing. Um, looks like an upside down uh, soccer net or hockey net. I don't, I don't watch soccer, but I do like hockey. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't love hockey. I, I don't even like it. I don't know why I said that all oh, my kids played hockey. I'm Canadian. I have to like hockey, but I don't. It's, uh, I don't know. I guess it's a nice, I like lacrosse. Uh, that was nice. My husband played semi-pro lacrosse. I was at all the lacrosse games. Anywho, let's get on with the card. I need to get that piece of acetate after, I don't know which order I do it in, whether I glue down that, uh, u-shaped thing or i don't i'm not too sure we shall see so here it is it's um i'm going to fit it over top and the best way for me to do it was to just put another sheet over top the same size and then cut around it with long scissors that worked out for me so here we go sorry my light's in the way so i grabbed a piece right here that i had that was the guts to that U thing, I think. I'm trying to think, where'd that come from? That's not in the set, but I think that's what it is. It's the inside portion. I cut it out, and uh, I have a perfect inside so that it goes up and down. And you're going to tape this on that U-shaped thing that you glued down. So the top of it, it's not going to get taped down, right? It's over top of the pull tab. I'm talking about the acetate now. You're only going to do the left side, the lower side, and the right side, right like that. Do, 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 do. Not on the top. No. And that's going to come down. So I'm going to put some eighth of an inch. Is this eighth of an inch or sixteenth of an inch? I think it's eighth of an inch, the tiny one. Yes, I'm going to put that all the way around. Yeah, that didn't work out for me, so I just grabbed this tear thing I have. This works out really nice because you get because you get to secure it down just like that. And uh, it's plastic, and it has a nice edge. Then I'm going to take all the sides off. And I'm going to put my U thing down that you die cut. Or, oh, no, the U things. I'm sorry. Is it already down? Can't tell, get forward there. I think it's already down. Yeah, this is going over top of it. Is it? Let's just see. Oh my, it's been a while. Let's see. Do you do that and then put the U thing on there? Can't be. There it is. Woohoo! Isn't that fantastical? I love it. 
That is so cutesy wootsy. And, and you know, once you do it once, like I haven't done it for created this for a while, but I could do one. I don't know. Probably would only take me an hour this time instead of two. And I guess uh, I guess that you thing was already down. No, I've got to put the you thing down there. I wondered where it went, but I don't understand it because. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, it's going to secure the. Um, oh, yeah, I have to do the whole thing because you're going to secure the top to the bottom. But that you thing is going to uh, make that slide tab go over it nicely. Pretty sure that's why you have to do this. Let's see. Let's see together. I'm kind of curious myself, and I'm the one that created it. So let's take all the tape off. And if I just secure this down, that means that that acetate went over top of the U thing. Okay? And I'm getting my fancy dancy dental uh, tray set here. I love this. I get to poke at everything with all different sizes. So now, so it is down. Okay, it is down. And now you want to match it because you have these uh, scallops. So you have to really be careful when you put this down that somewhat the scallops go together. And there you have it. Yes, I was so happy to have this. It's part of the, the um, stand, uh, build the tree set. And it's unique. It's going to go on the back of this card. Now, it has this little thing that says pull. And you put it over top of the tab. And I'm sure if you put... Um, it on YouTube and you want to see how this works in, in real quick time. The LDRS Creative... Uh, let's see what it's called. It's right beside me. I haven't even put it away yet. Just a second. It is called the Jubilee Magical Slider die set. And uh, yeah, so you put that little tab over top because you die cut it and it takes out the word pull. So I just have to take a black marker and color in that tab pull right here, color it in black, and um, then we're going to glue that pull tab over top so it looks pretty and you have something more uh, sustainable to grab when you're going to pull it up and down all the time. So it has the weight to it that I like. So that's nice. Look at that pull. Wasn't that great? The only thing left to do was to put some glue on it. And then you can put some glossy accents or your crystal lacquer, whatever you have that's shiny in it later. That's what I did just to make it shine. Oh, there goes my vacuum. Oh, I can't tell you how many times I used that thing through this project. It was crazy. Now, let's see the back. Well, it's called Build a Tree. So I thought it has to have some wood features on the back. And this is from the 6x6 paper pack of wonderful thick papers. And if you're looking for paper to do projects, my friends, this is the paper. It's got to, well, it has to be at least 85 pounds. Or does it come in 80 pound? It's really thick. It's not the 65 pound stuff. It's nice and thick. And uh, if you are getting it to match a set, they do match. So here you go. I have that. And uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, good night. I've got a different kind of sandwich. <laughs> this must be a different day. I have a different sandwich. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's a piece of toast. I couldn't tell. That's hysterical. Yeah, I can't create unless I'm eating at the same time. I don't know. Some people can't do that, but I've trained myself. <laughs> I didn't even have to go to school for that. No, I can eat and craft all at the same time. Just keep a baby wipe there to wipe your little grubby fingers when you're finished and everything is cool. So let's get that down. This is going to be where my slider is going on the back of this card. Now you can tell I grab anything that's close. Oh, there we go. This is what I said. Everything went wrong, but this went wrong because I have none left. So then I thought, oh, I can do this in easy peasy in three seconds. 
No, I couldn't. I couldn't find the tape. I had three. Oh! <laughs> well, fancy that. I have a Crystal Beach waffle. Look up Crystal Beach, my friends. Crystal Beach, Ontario. They took all that. It was an amusement park. And I used to hang out there. I used to work there. And I used to work in the Waffle House. And, and uh, you would put these great big metal things down into the boiling vat of grease. And then bring it up. And you'd have one of these waffles. And you'd put white sugar on it. And there's only one place now that they took the park down that makes these. And I always pick up a pack of five. And yeah, look at the sugar all over it. Yeah, you could see I was wiping it up. So I'm just having a little dessert while I'm crafting. There, I'm going to try this tonic glue. And let me tell you something about this tonic glue, okay? It's super thick. It's not a runny glue. It's very thick. And uh, I, I rather liked it, and it was affordable. So that's what I'm using there. So let's get this beautiful paper down. I cut it to size. It's wood grain. Love it. Let's build a tree. Yeah, I love it. So let's get my plastic thing. Because the glue is so thick, you are going to have to like kind of push it. Uh, see what I mean? It's It even took some muscles for me to get it out there. And the one thing is to match up at the bottom, which it didn't matter because I knew I was going to put something on the bottom. And this is the craziest thing. When I was creating this, I don't know where my mind was. I really don't. It, it was funny because... For me to put what I put on the back was absolutely crazy because it had nothing to do with the seaside. You know, I'm doing the seaside recipe album, or recipe book, excuse me. And um, and then wait till you see what I put at the bottom. It just boats. I mean, it had nothing, well, unless the boat was, you know, a boat that somebody made and it was made out of wood. But how are you going to know that? And it's and it's blue, but I guess the stripes are blue in there. But I don't know what I was thinking. All I was thinking was I had to cover up that line. And the reason why I keep these in my tutorial, my friends, is that we all do this. Oh, I'm cutting a pattern. You can do that with your paper. See this nice little pattern? I thought it was kind of cool to do that. And, you know, this was about another hour I spent and then uh, covered it up. I did. I don't think I kept much of it. Let me just see in the edit. I hope I didn't because that would be futile. Uh, I can't see it right now, but we shall see. I'm just going to cut her down and I left this in because there's times when you do this. Your mind is not really on the project at hand. I thought it was until I put this paper down. And if this was the front of the paper, my friends, it wouldn't have been that bad. But it didn't coordinate with any page that I was doing. Yeah, and I stuck this down. Oh, yeah, it had double-sided sticker tape, Xyron tape. on. No, it wasn't even Xyron tape. It was that uh, other real sticky stuff. So once that went down, I'm just making sure it's even when I put it down. Yeah, I went to great lengths to cover it up. Yes. And then I took out my stickers and I put some stickers going across just to, so it didn't look so empty. And yeah, I really did need a Coca-Cola here and a piece of waffle. I'm moving pretty fast and I'm trying to figure out what I am going to do with this uh, here. I'm grabbing a new pin for my tonic glue. I want to have a pin in there. just twisting off that cap all the time. I thought, no, pin is better. So here we go. I'll show you what you can do if you have these thickers. They're not thickers. What am I saying? They're star form stickers. The thickers is what I use on the front of the card. That's why that's on my brain. Doesn't that look cute? I mean, they you j but you do have to add glue underneath. Even though they're sticky, you do have to have applied glue to have them stay because glue dries, let's face it. And, uh, yeah, so there we go. I put one across the top like that. I was going to put a pearl in each one, but I thought a pearl, that doesn't go with anything. Uh, trees don't grow pearls. What, what, what was I thinking? I don't know. And then I put the little wee bit of glue across the top. I put this down so that I could cover it all up. Yeah, and I wasn't ripping it off. 
I wasn't ripping it off because it was nice and flat and I was able to cover it. Yeah, look at that. So then I thought of putting it and covering it up with that, but that was impossible. What about more wood? No, you can't do wood vertical and horizontal on that page. I just didn't like the look of it. What about this? No, that's nasty. Oh yeah, let's put it right over there. That was unbelievable. Get rid of the wood, Carol. Get the wood out of your mind. And then I'm gonna show you, I turned around and there was this, yeah, I was gonna put a sentiment there. No, the blue had to go, that was the key. The blue had to go. The anchors had to go. So do I cover it up with ribbon? And then I was going to put ribbon in a bow. Can you believe this? A, a wood project with a bow? Oh, I don't know. I must have been really tired. But I'm just going to show you that, yeah, let's do a bow on each side. Yeah, that was not working at all. I think I started laughing my head off when I saw this. I had to have because I could burst out. Either that or tears. I don't know what was happening there. But, yeah, it didn't matter if I, what kind of bows. Yeah, there's my apothecary drawer, getting out a lot of browns. And I thought of weaving something, you know, getting um, some kind of um, ribbon and then putting weaves in it and weaving it on the back. Yeah, that, that uh, no, none of this worked. I just uh, put it away. And then I turned around and I saw Tim Hortons, um, you know those things they put around the cup so that your hands don't burn off? I don't drink coffee or anything, but um, my husband gets a coffee and I've seen these things. They're corrugated and um, they go over the cup somehow. And I had one of them. I must have grabbed it off of his coffee when he brought it home. And... Um, yeah, so what I did here is, I like the leaves on this ribbon, believe it or not. And then I thought, what about weaving, you know, in and out, so it looks like a kind of weaved quilt thing going on. There it is, Tim Hortons, there it is. This little thing saved my life because it looks like wood. I mean, you can't get any sweeter than that, right? It looks like the wood, and so I'm cutting it so it's not so... Funny thing about this, let me just say, this is not even. like. You think it would be an even curvature? It's not. So I had to use what I had and um, there you go. I put it on there and made it a tuck that I could tuck uh, like a, uh, a recipe down in there in the top and it looked much better. It went along with the you know the craft paper everything came together and yeah, this is how thick it is. I mean, I had to use my super duper muscles to get it out and that's good because if it holds, I'll, I'll work it, it's fine. I mean, uh, I ride a great big honkin' Harley. I'm sure I can get glue out of a bottle. There's no problems there. And then I thought, you know, I think I had bow on the brain. I was thinking of another bow. I'm tying a bow for sure. Look at that, oh my. Shattered nerves. Can't even look at it. You really have to press that glue too. There it is, yes. A little recipe's going in there. And so I decided to cover the edges, not the bottom, just the two sides with the leaf ribbon. Because if I didn't use this ribbon, I don't know, I felt like I was going to just, you know, it wouldn't be complete if I didn't because it's because it has leaves in the pull-up tab, you know, the little mechanism there, the slider, and all I did was I put double-sided tape in the back of the ribbon, tape, took the tape off, and then I added some wet glue, of course. If you want ribbon to stick, you do have to use both. I've learned that. And then I put the leaves on each side. I'm happy with it. It goes with the Build-A-Tree theme. It's got leaves. And it uh, matches some of the colors of the tree that I had on the front, the bark. So that was awesome. And then it has that stamp on the Tim Hortons corrugated uh, paper there that had the date for some reason, I guess when, uh, um, they got that, you know, I don't know, but it had a stamp date or something on there. So that was cool. Kind of looked kind of vintagey. Then I'm just going to cut a bit of the ribbon. 
just a bit of the ribbon there it was sticking out and I didn't want anything sticking out and you couldn't tell it didn't fray which was good because I would have had to haul it off and put another piece on there but it didn't fray then I had so many little marks on this paper I thought look at that what am I going to do with that first okay first I'll work with on the shaker I double up my scotch tape because I'm going to do it too high and then I'm going to cut it in half so that we get you know can't put that on there it's only a half an inch then I'll put this around and that's where I'm going to raise the acetate to put my beads I have a, a container that I bought at the dollar store and nothing's a dollar it's like a wood box I just love it and I put all my beads you know those uh, micro beads I put them upside down so I can see all the colors of the beads in this box and they fit every one that I had but look at me, I'm not going to the beads right now, I'm going to the bling. So I get out my bling again, because I haven't used sequins for so long. I thought I'd add the same color sequins as all of the colored images that I colored in here. And have some bling bling. I was just having fun with it. I don't know, I just can't leave anything blank. There's something, you know, the only thing that's blank is sometimes my brain. I, I, when I can't figure things out. There it is. Isn't that sweet? And these uh, beads, I think are Martha Stewart beads, these um, seed beads, they're tight seed, 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 seed beads. You can see them. Isn't that cool? Look at the way they're going on there. Oh, I love it. And then they all mix together after. Yeah. Teensy weensy seed beads. Then you're going to put your acetate over top and it has all the colors that I colored in with my Prisma pencils to the right. And here we go, get that acetate, and then I'll put it corner to corner on the right-hand side and cut off the left because, I, you know, it's easy to cut where it doesn't have a crease. So that's what I did. You're going to add that backing, which was on another card. And there you go. You have, I have my uh, shaker all complete. Didn't have to cut anything else out. I have it right here and easy peasy. So now we have to cover the front and the back but you see how I don't like that white showing I'm going to show you a remedy for that after I cut the acetate across because I am going to put a piece of that uh, two inch around each side and then yeah get rid of this and then um, I don't like to look at the sides when it's all white so this is what I did and I made too many of them but that's okay I put some of them away you're going to take out um, a sheet of this paper that obviously measures the four well two inches I did it's a half an inch and a half an inch and then I put two gussets so I guess it'd be an inch and a quarter that I cut them into and then you're going to put double-sided tape because I have two score marks so that I have a gusset to go around the front to cover the white tape because we did a shaker, right? So we had to raise that up and see how I just put it around like a covering because I'm, because I'm going to put another front on that. So this isn't going to matter. And then I did all three sides. I couldn't do the inside. It just wouldn't go in. It, it wouldn't have looked nice, you know, clean. So I did all three sides, cut them down, and then I stored the other 800 that I cut and scored. And I'll use that for another project. So here we go. We're going to put it over there so you don't see that. Look how clean that looks. And all it is is putting two little gusset marks in the center, getting some double-sided tape and then some glue, put it on, cover it, and then put a cover on the front so that you don't see what you just did. Even if it doesn't wrap clean around, you cover it. So it works out really well. You know, I just cut another one of the card fronts off, and that's going to make a cover. So I ended up covering the outside and the inside. looks very clean. And uh, it's just like, you know, a beautiful miter. When you miter something, how clean it looks when it joins together. That's what this reminds me of. And then we'll go back at the end and I'll show you a close-up because I am going rather fast. I don't want you to have to sit very long to watch this. I know that everybody's been housebound and um, yeah, probably a lot of, especially with children home now, right? If you have children, I, I have grandchildren, but 
they're not with me and uh, so I don't have to yeah I'm just making a nice crease all the way across the top just to make it look beauteous it just has to and now I went to my stash and I found these uh, they're metal they're metal dots and they were the perfect colors that were in the paper of the uh, do you see where I'm going with this I cannot stop on a card it's just crazy. I don't know what, what it is, but I, I, I really did. I thought of you. I wasn't going to have you sit there watching me, and I did it in order of color. If you look at it, it's all in order. And then I thought it'd be kind of funny to put the image, not the same, but with the same elements in it, and only do half. <laughs> My birdie liked it. Woo, looky there. How come you're only half colored, he's saying. Oh, yeah. Get it better get out of here she's in the mood yeah and then I went to all my thickers and my stickers and this whole big box is full of them I used every time I went into Michael's I would grab a couple of these so if you grab a couple for about six years I guess you get quite a few and I really like the font on this so I wanted to cover up something about that tree on the inside of my shaker was bothering me it was that had an empty space there under that limb can't have that so I thought, what about putting hello? You know, like I'm British, hello. How you doing, matey? I'm sure you don't say that. What about hello? How are you? Yeah, I love it. I love British accents too. So these letters have the wood grain in them, and I decided to put build a tree because that's what it's called. And it has that beautiful bright off white that I love. Um, yeah, this just completed it for me build a tree. I couldn't figure out what to put around this frame. I couldn't leave it just naked like that. So I took off the sequence here and I'm putting my hello right there. Excuse me, could you not land on my tree? Yes, not in the grass either. Get out of the way. I go sticky tape. Oh dear. But anyway, I put it right there in place of that. I thought this was perfect when you shut the card. So let's go over it. Okay, this is towards the end. I'm going to show you. We have an envelope. We have a five by seven card. See how that hello shines through my shaker? It's called Build a Tree. This is what the set is called. This is going to go into my recipe album. So you have the shaker element. You have the Build a Tree. And see all the little bark that's in these stickers? I love it. Yeah, my brain just went to that. And then you see, hello, and then my half, my half colored. People can go, why did she stop? Why are these uh, little birds and apples half colored? Well, you'll see when you go to the back, you'll see exactly why. And then I'll put a sentiment on there or something. I just put that there just so when it comes to time to put this in the recipe book, I'll know what to do. So everything on the top is colored halfway. Even the apples, even the leaves halfway because of the pull tab on the back. And everybody will get it. I loved it. This is exactly what I needed. And look at that beautiful uh, edge. Yes, my glue is not quite dry when I'm showing this. But it all dried clear and it looked beauteous. Then you close it. Oh, here it is. The taste of la resistance. Pull. Okay, pull. Woo. Look at there. You have half colored. Oh, now it's all colored. Okay, put it down. Come on. Slide her down. Ooh. Oh, don't you love this? And it's black and white. And that's why I did half of the hello. There you go. Hello. Hello, little bird. So there you have it, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to get this tutorial up. You have yourself a blessed week. I'm going to shove a little recipe card in there. That's at the back. I'm going to leave you some pictures, and uh, thank you as always for your comments, for subscribing, and doing everything you know we like to do, and there it is. See you later, my friends. That is it. You take care, and I will see you on the next video.